So you're Lightel One users, this is your host from Asus and from Lightel One Development. So currently we are having a Havoc OS 3.7 which is an initial build for this Asus Zenfone Light L1 so I have been using this for last two days so here are my views on this and sorry for the setup currently I have packed all my things and instruments so if the audio quality was bad I am extremely sorry for that so yeah so before going into the video first we'll start with the boot animation Currently, I am using the Havoc OS 3.7 with the G Apps Mini. So, the reason behind it sometimes the default launcher in the Havoc OS, which is Shady Launcher, have some issues with uh, switching between apps. So I just installed the G Apps Mini so that it will come with the Fixel Launcher. And after installing that, I have noticed something that we it enabled the live it enabled the live caption feature where you can just turn on the this one and whenever you receive audio uh, in English or in English, you will get the subtitle or caption here. And second thing I have to mention is Pathosty. It passes the uh, safety net entirely and I have tried installing GPay which was working fine. <laughs> and third thing about the uh, camera, it comes with the snap camera which is working fine but when we switch to HDR it's showing pictures like this so we are facing that problem uh, so we'll try to find the workaround for that in upcoming builds so yeah if you are taking a picture in snap camera you just uh, disable the HDR feature and then take care of uh, pictures it works fine or else you can use any third party cameras like open camera or gcam go which i am currently using and the third thing i have to mention is uh, the battery backup so uh, as i said i just used this for last two days and yesterday i just charged fully to 100 percentage and i was continuously using the youtube and instagram and having some calls with my friends so it just went like six and a half hours of battery backup sot so that feels really good and probably you will get like five and a half hours to six hours of screen on time and if you are gaming if you are doing gaming or something it will just reduce to five or something like that so for sure you will get these six hours of screen on time sometimes and and fourth thing is audio quality audio quality is it's like other every other uh, custom room we have tested the evaluation x lineage it's same like that so the audio is not poor it was like decent level This is full audio. You can use uh, Viper 4X or something like that to fix this to improve the audio quality. So that's pretty much it, I guess. We all know about the uh, feature elaboration of the Hevo OS where you will be having a lot of things like a network monitor indicator and you can remove the uh, tags of these switches and 
lot of customization you will be having in this. So yeah, also uh, the ulti is working fine and and the loudspeaker is working fine. So yeah, it is. It can be used for a daily use, and um, the next builds of this one will come little delayed after a month or something. Also, the videos will be coming after twenty or thirty days. So due to some traveling, I have to um, postpone these uh, things. So yeah, that's what about this video. And if you like this, just leave a like and support this channel. Thank you. Bye bye.